what up nerds in this video i want to cover how we can debug a c-sharp project inside of jetbrains writer now debugging with c-sharp is not really that well supported in godot itself so you kind of have to use your ide's debugger and jetbrains actually has a plugin to help assist in this and that's what we're going to be covering today now if this video is helpful and you want to support the channel you can like and subscribe as well as share and you can also check out my steam developer page and i will link all of this in the description below as well so let's go ahead and get started looking at this project it's just very simple and easy to follow we have two nodes and one has a script on it called example.cs. So if we go ahead and pull up the IDE, what uh, the script has is just a few things in here. So the first thing we wanna do is double press shift, go into plugins and look for this Godot support plugin in the marketplace. Now, once you have that, it will ask you to restart the IDE. And when you do, you can actually do some pretty cool things, such as up here, it'll allow you to start the Godot editor. So what you can do is open up the solution in Writer and then come up here and start the Godot editor and it'll open this up for you. So I'll go ahead and close this out run it and it opens up the Godot with your project. All right, so some other things that it does is it will automatically add the this editor and player configuration for you. And all that's going to do is set it up to where if you have it on editor and you press play, it'll boot up the editor. But if you have it on player, it's going to boot up your project. This will only work if you have a main scene selected. All right. So in order to debug, what we want to do is just like any other time debugging uh, an application, we'll place the debugger here. Then we'll come in here and we'll run the scene. But what you'll see is we don't hit that breakpoint. All right. So something that you might try is to come in here and hit it in there. And it still doesn't hit. So what can we do here? Well, that plugin is actually going to be beneficial in this regard because if we know the scene that we want to debug specifically, so this node 3D scene, all we need to do is switch over to the file system, go into the scene itself, right click, and we can debug it right from the context menu and it'll launch it for us. And now we're in our debugger. And from here, we can just come down here, expand this out and see all the properties, everything that we need to see. And we can even see this node's children. If we expand the children and then expand the results, this is the child node as well. And we can just keep digging in to that if we need be. So we can step over like you are accustomed to most likely. And that's how like, we, we have all of the capabilities of debugging from here. Now, this is really handy if you want to debug a specific scene, but if you want to debug the entire game itself, you would have it on player, because remember, this only works if you have a main scene set. And then from there, you can just click the debug option and it'll do the same thing. So something else that you can do is if you already have the game running and you're like, oh, I want to debug something specifically, but I don't want to restart everything, you can come up into this drop down and then attach to 
the actual process that the already running process and then you can debug things from there now while we're here we can also profile but uh, this is going to try and profile the entire running game because it's going to kick off the current build configuration now what that means is if you do have some build configurations set up to only run specific scenes you can profile those scenes as well now something else that this plugin does is it does add support to automatically read the input file as well so if we wanted to do input dot get uh, action strength we can open uh, do the double open quotes and here are all of our actual actions so that can be very helpful as well so that is some of the main points of this plugin it also does uh, kind of mitigate some of the unnecessary warnings such as if you have a delegate declared as a signal it it'll hide those warnings that it would typically have if a delegate isn't actually uh, ha hasn't actually been created or used uh, and it's really kind of a must-have if you're using writer with C sharp in Godot as always if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and have a great day later nerds